Good morning, everybody, or what's left of it. Jonathan Oldberry here at Blue Compass RV in Vider, Texas. Hey, I've got two trailers that are here ready to go for immediate delivery. It is the last day of the month. It is Saturday. It's a beautiful Saturday. Not a cloud in the sky. Guys, I'm going to take you all around and show you these two trailers that I have. One is a 262 RLS, which means it's a rear living. It's got recliners, beautiful trailer. And the other one is going to be a uh, no slide bunkhouse. Again, I'm going to turn the camera around, let you take a look at it. If you have any questions, you know, hit that message button, hit that like button, send me a comment, send me a text message. The only thing I don't answer are smoke signals. So let's get started. As I said, this is the 262 RLS. It's got your power tongue winch. It's got two LP tanks. It's got your basement here, pass through storage, all the way through for all your stuff. Guys, let me tell you a few things about this Jayco here. Solid, solid, solid trailer, uh, outdoor shower, giant slide on this thing. It's got true plywood floors. It does not have any of the OSB or the press board that you've heard of. Easy access port there on the back for your power. It is a double entry trailer. Wait till you see the inside of this thing. Again, just for reference, it is the 262 RLS. It is ready to go. You walk in, the first thing that you're gonna see are recliners. We're talking about comfortable recliners, a nice little center table there. The couch, the couch not only has additional storage underneath the trailer, underneath the couch, I should say, this is also a jackknife couch. What that means for you is you have additional sleeping spaces. Your dinette, again, where a camper is good for additional sleeping. When you gotta take places or people are visiting, this dinette will convert over to a sleeping section as well. Look at this little entertainment center, already pre-wired with the HDMI cable for your TV, plenty of storage above and below. Great size little refrigerator here. Plenty of storage. Freezer up top. Microwave. Three burner stove. Giant, giant. Looks like it's partially used. <laughs> Sink here. Additional storage there below. The reason for the two entries is because this is a pass-through bathroom, right? So. You know, everyone say hi. Corner shower, clean your room, overhead. Look, people talk about the bathrooms never have spots for towels. Look at that storage. Bedroom, spot for your TV on the wall. It is wired for solar. It does not have solar. This one is wired for it. Additional closet features, storage overhead. Again, exit because it is the path through restroom and additional storage underneath the bed there. And guys, between you and me, you could probably upgrade this bed from the trailer queen to the trailer king. You would lose some side bets up table areas, but hey, comfort is key. You've got your programmable hot water heater. And again, just a little view of the interior of this trailer. I'm going to pause the video and I am going to reopen it in front of the 260BH. One last look. Now this next one is the 260BH. Again, it is by Jayco. Uh, it is a bunkhouse model. Enough talking and seeing my face, but we are a little bit closer to the interstate, so it is a little bit louder. But again, I'm going to turn this video camera around and let you take a look. This is my 260BH. Let's zoom out a little bit here. Take this whole camper in. Again, pass through storage all the way across. It is lockable. Like I was telling in the other trailer, look, no OSB. That is solid plywood. The 260BH does not feature a slide, 
It is a simple rectangle trailer, nice spare on the back. You're prepped for your backup camera. Check this little additional storage area out here. Look at that storage. And look at this, look. It's magnetic, hands-free, not even having to adjust a clasp. Power on awning, almost said awning. I, I don't know, maybe I'm from the north now. Outdoor speakers. Again, this is the 260 VH made by Jayco. Now check out this. Nice open bedroom. Again, it's wired for solar. It does have the spot for the television pre-wired already. Additional storage above the bed. Your couch is your jackknife couch. Similar to the other trailer, there is no additional storage under this one, but you can do that. Jackknife couch. Your dinette does convert into a sleeping area. Again, giant sink for the size trailer. Three burner stove, refrigerator, microwave. gotta be quiet so you can enjoy that microwave now this one's a little unique right so your bathroom is separate from your sink and your mirror so you've got your toilet and your shower all by itself I'm in my camera shop. I'm gonna go ahead and let you get a wave here bunk area you do have this open area here you get a nice view it does have a light and an AC vent. You've got USBs over there. Good storage area. And that, st that large storage area on the outside is actually located in this area here. That's what gives you the ability of having so much storage area. Now let's show you the shower and the toilet. This one has the little mini tub. Good size area, hot water heater control, nice toilet. Hopefully I'm not making me too dizzy moving this camera around. Radio, spot for your TV. Again, it's already backed, so you can mount there. Thermostat control, again, easy access. They'll give you a little pano vision here. I know I'm going to stick with my day job. I'm not a very good cameraman, but give you an idea of everything that you're looking for. I do realize this is one of my longer videos that I have posted. Hopefully I didn't go too terribly fast. Again, these are the two trailers that I have ready to go right now, today, on the last day of the month. Today is November 30th. I'm Jonathan Oliver here at Blue Columbus in Vider, Texas. Don't hesitate to reach out, call, text, email, shoot me a private message, whatever you want to do, but let me be the one to put you in that trailer today. Thanks so much. Have a great day.